everyone welcome back to a new video i know i haven't done a gel polish for a little while so today i thought i'd do a gel polish set because i don't want to forget those of you who just do gel polish so uh, i'm using madame glam um in today's set i've got their perfect black perfect white velvet matte their blooming gel and their no wipe top coat so we're going to be using all of those today i've got some tips not not tips some nail tips um i'm going to start with perfect black that's got something on its bottom I don't know what that was. Even gel polish gets clinkers. <laughs> okay, now shut up. Okay, so for this now, um, I will just say I was inspired. Actually, I say inspired. This is basically a recreation of a set that I saw by uh, a guy called... Oh, I can't remember what it was called. Um, Nails by Andy Devine, something like that. I can't remember, but I'm going to leave the picture of the set that I saw somewhere here. They're really nice. And I'll leave the guy's Instagram in the description box because his nails are stunning. Um, on this palette, I'm putting a blob of white, a blob of black, and then a blob of white. Now, do check before you put your brushes back in the bottle that you haven't contaminated the end of your brush. Um, then I'm just going to pull my little needle tool through the colour and now I am oh you're probably wondering why I've only done part of the nail so uh, if you noticed in his set one one nail he had was marble into black and then he had marble into white so this one I'm putting the black at the bottom I'm covering the whole nail in this blooming gel now blooming gel you don't cure it you put your blooming gel on and then you put your colour on the blooming gel and what happens is the colour disperses, it kind of spreads out. So that's why, yeah, that's what we want, we kind of want that to happen. I'm using my Born Pretty Ombre brush to pick up some of the uh, the gel polish. Um, if you don't have an ombre brush, you can use like a gel brush, something like that. And you're just going to sort of place it on it where you want it. Now don't overwork it because your you'll end up with a grey, you'll end up with grey. Now I feel like I oh, kind of ruined it a little bit. His marble into black was like just amazing. So my my marble is not really a, a marble. He, he, he always did like a marble ombre, which is like something else. Whereas I just done marble and then black. <laughs> But yeah, I still can't, I still liked how this set turned out anyway. Um, I'm using now the Velvet Matte Top Coat. What I'm going to do is put some foil on. From foil? This foil? This is the, this is pink, like a pink holographic foil. It's bloody gorgeous. He used an amazing champagne gold. Now I would have, I would have copied his set, you know, nail product for nail product. But I don't have any champagne gold foil. I've got like a horrible yellowy gold one but i didn't want to use that so i thought this one would do i'm also using my nail sugar natalie margridge triple zero detoner brush oh i love it now what i've done is the reason i have put matte top coat on is because um i felt like the this is foil gel by the way this is i mean this i don't know why i didn't show you in the video this is spd london's foil gel okay so this is what we are right we're only putting this through certain parts of the marble now i felt like if i put this on shiny top coat it has a habit of running a little bit um whereas on the velvet matte it won't also um the it's going to be easier to because top coat, shiny top coat doesn't like to stick to shiny top coat. So I thought it would be easier to do velvet, to sh do shiny over velvet max. It's got something to grip to. I hope that's making sense. But the velvet, no, sorry, the foil gel cures in an LED lamp for 60 seconds. So once I've done that, it's going to have a really super tacky layer. And we're going to press the foil into it. Now I did wipe off the back of the foil using some isopropyl alcohol you don't always have to do that i just decided to do it for this one and look can you see we've ended up with a really gorgeous holographic marble through that no we've ended up with a pink holographic yeah marble through the marble i was gonna say it doesn't make sense it doesn't sound right anyway i'm now gonna top coat with the non-white top coat and I like to hold the nails upside down for a little while just to let that top coat level out so it gets an, a nice smooth light line. Though my light line isn't perfect on this set but I think it's because the nail was a little bit bumpy because it's a marble. You know it's not a, 
yeah i know what i mean um this now i'm putting white at the top and we're gonna do the marble at the bottom so i'm kind of doing it the other way around um two uh two coats of white madame glam gel polish to secure in the lamp for 30 seconds then we're going over with that blooming gel and I'm going to put the gel polish on the palette as I've done before and scoop it up using my ombre brush. You can see here, I don't know what I've done. Maybe I left it too long and it's kind of splurged into each other. But you can see I've got a lot more grey going on here than black and white marble. Do you see, you see what I mean? I think I left it too long before I picked it up. I don't know what I've done. I um, also felt like I ruined the top bit. Just don't overwork it. That's all I'm gonna say. Don't overwork it. There we go. Anyway, I didn't mind it. Bung it in the lamp. And then again, I'm gonna go over some parts with the foil gel glue. Foil gel. Foil gel glue. Foil gel. Using my now sugar natty my good detail brush, which will be in stock very soon. Oh, I can't wait. I flipping love it. <laughs> Yeah, I'm a weirdo, but do I care? Nah, not really. There we go, pop that in the lamp. And then again, we're gonna go over the sticky foil gel with the foil. The nail did wanna pop off the stand, so I had to hold it in my hand here. But if you find parts of the foil is missing off the gel that you've cured, you can go back in and, and tap your foil back over that, that foil gel. And then I'm going over with the non-white top coat again. And I shall hold it upside down as well for about 10 seconds. If you are not happy with that and you find that your nail is still really lumpy bumpy, you can just sort of go over with a file um, and lightly file it or buff it just to make it a bit smoother. Um, so I've done a full nail here of marble. So I've got the black marble, the white marble, and then just a full nail of marble. The last two nails, the first one, I've just had some diet Pepsi and I really, really, really want to burp. I'm really struggling to hold it in. I'm so not ladylike. Um, the last two nails, we're going to have one full nail of white. This is Perfect White from Madame Glam. And one full nail of Perfect Black. Um, by the way, if you want to get 30% off Madame Glam, you can do so using my code NATMUG30. So that's the white one. While the white one's securing, we're going to do the black one. And then because the other two nails, no, not the other two nails, the other three nails are shiny, I thought this set we'd mix it up a little bit and have some shiny and some matte. So these nails are going to be matted. I love, I don't know, I just love, I kind of, you know, like I've been doing shiny a lot. Well, I just, I love matte too now, look. Oh no, hang on. Yeah, this is the velvet matte from Magic. I really like it. It's a really, really good velvet matte top coat. Um, nail Camus initially was the only top coat for me. Now I would be happy with this one or Nail Camus either way. Um, yeah, they're both on a par, I'd say. Okay, this one, is, yeah, Velvet Matte again. And then obviously the Velvet Matte cures for 30 seconds as all their gel polishes and stuff do, which is brilliant. Look at that black though. Oh, isn't it nice? There we go. So we've got, yeah, I'm going to put them all together and show you. If you did like this video, by the way, do leave me a like. And while you're down there clicking the like button, why don't you just hit that subscribe button as well. And then I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> Which will be tomorrow. Is it hump day? It is hump day, isn't it? It's Wednesday. Whoop, whoop. I think. I don't know. I've lost the day. I lost the count. Anyway, see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Have a lovely day, whatever it is. Bye.